Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One, and I just came to you this morning to um, share a couple of um, journals for my Etsy store. They'll be going into my shop um, at some point this afternoon, probably after lunchtime. And um, they're kind of a vintage Victorian style journal. So we're just gonna go through them real quick so that I can get a record of them before I put them up in the shop. Um, this one is, it measures five by s between seven and a quarter and seven and a half. And then the spine's about around an inch, a little more than an inch. They're one signature books and they are quite fat little signatures. So, um, and then I just have some lace on the spine. And then as usual, the back is plain because to me this paper speaks for itself. And I usually try to leave the backs of my books plain or, you know, just with the paper so that they're not so bulky when you're trying to journal in them. So, um, but this paper is just absolutely beautiful. It's the Kirby Teasdale line from Hobby Lobby. So we'll just go on in. Um, I just hide it with this pretty, pretty lace. Um, it's actually a fabric. Um, it's really, really soft, but I just kind of made a ribbon tie out of it. And so it's just, it's a gorgeous little, little ribbon lace. Um, and it's really, really soft. So we'll just go on in. This book has 124 pages, um, front and back. So on the front we have um, the little library pocket with a tag and a little embossed bookmark. This is a pocket that um, I think this is a digital print from Tsunami Rose. Both of these are and along with this little tag and it just folds open for more journaling. And of course I'm not going to be able to get it into the pocket because I'm on camera. Imagine that. <laughs> this is just a little embossed tag too you can use for a bookmark or um, a tag or however you want to use it there's one of my little scrappy tags and I just thought it was cute because it's so tiny this is a page out of an old book that I found it's about flowers but it has a lot of Victorian girls in it and I just thought it was so pretty so wanted to add that and I meant to tell you I have um, quite a bit of this crocheted lace throughout these books and some of them have uh, some of the pages have the little um, page tabs a lot of them have stamping and there's just a little coffee stain index card um, I do believe the majority of the pages in this book are coffee stained here's one of those um, this is uh, one of those paper clips that I decorate and I just put a little one of my little scrappy tags underneath that but this one I just decorated with like a little ticket sorry I'm trying to make sure that you guys can see um, with some lace and some cheesecloth and a butterfly and then some glossy accents this is a page from another old book love 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 the graphics in this book and I just thought it went really pretty with the vintage Victorian style lined paper. This is one of those flip-ups. I believe they call them the Rita Donnelly flip-ups. I don't think I've ever even watched one of her videos, but I've seen other people use them and call them that. So I always want to give credit where credit is due. This is just a little fold-out journaling card along with this. Um, and it's got some encouraging things inside here and a guest check. I'm going to try and flip through a little faster. Another little journaling card, embossed tag, and another guest check. Sorry about the camera shake, guys. Ledger paper, coffee dyed paper, and I love the way this coffee staining took. Another one of those page uh, book pages. Um, here's a little pocket, and it's got... Um, okay, this is just a tag, and... I can't remember. I, this is a digital print um, from a shop, and I can't remember the name of her shop, but I'll try to put it in the link below. Um, coffee dyed index card, and just another little fold out. This is actually coffee dyed and tea stained. Sometimes I like to do a little extra. 
Here's an envelope, and it's just got some journaling stuff in there with some stamping, some craft paper. Here's some tracing paper. This is really pretty, and I thought it went good with the Victorian style. Um, this is from an old Helen Steiner Ross book. Um, isn't that pretty? Here's just another pocket, and it actually opens out for more journaling. And it's just got the little lace tuck there with um, a tag. I believe this is from, it's from that same store that um, that other one's from. But like I say, I will link it below. There's a tag. And then here's just a sewn book page envelope that you can put things in. Another one of those page tabs. There's um, another one of those Victorian. See, isn't she gorgeous? How pretty is she? There's another one of those paper clips that I decorate. Um, I guess they're calling these the Crafty Irina clips. Um, there's a tag. <laughs> Went blank for a second. This is just a, a wax paper, or I think it's actually parchment paper um, pocket that I sewed. And it's got just a little tag, extra journaling, and uh, another one of those little pockets that's got some stuff in it from, uh, I think this is Tsunami Rose. Isn't this paper so pretty? Here's another one of those little flips with a couple of uh, tags and a journaling spot. It's another piece of that um, the book page from that grasshopper book that's just lovely. A couple more tags, uh, my scrappy tags that I just kind of put together. Some journal, extra journaling stuff in there. Stamping, coffee stain paper, more stamping. There's dictionary paper, and I put a little pocket on there, and it opens up so that you can put something on the inside. This is Tsunami Rose as well. There's another one of my scrappy tags, embossed tag, and just another design paper tag. Here's another little pocket with a tag. This is Tsunami Rose, and then this is from, I believe, Ephemera's Vintage Garden. I love this. I think this is so pretty. I bought the whole, um, uh, the whole pack the whole digital kit of this so I'm going to be making a book with that and then that's just extra extra journaling here's another piece of that grass grasshopper on the road was the name of the of the book and this is the center of the signature I just love the graphics on that book this is another one of those um gosh I remember I wish I could remember that sweet lady's name that I bought these from on Etsy that's Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Isn't that lovely? That's from that same kit. And then another embossed tag. It's just a little pocket. And this is from... Um, I think that's from that same lady. It may be Tsunami Rose, but I think it's from the other lady. Dictionary page with some stamping. Coffee dyed paper with stamping. Here's another, the other side of that bag, and it's just got some tags and some extra journaling stuff in there. There's another piece of that paper. But aren't those colors and those butterflies just beautiful with the little grasshopper and the mushrooms? I just love it. Here's one of those little flowers that I make. I learned how to do that from Kelly Calkins Snow. And then I put some encouraging scriptures and a couple of tags in there and a guest check. There's the other side of that um, parchment paper bag and some scrappy tags and some journaling spots. And this is Tsunami Rose and it's just a little fold out for extra journaling as well. Here's um, The Language of Flowers was the is the name of the book that I got these uh, from. There's another page tab sewn on. Some of the pages, uh, the coffee stain pages, have the doily imprint on it. I hope you can see that. And this is just a little belly band. Got a couple of journaling cards and some extra journaling space there. This is another one of those flip pockets. And um, this is one of my little scrappy tags. And then this is Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Isn't that beautiful? I love 
love, love the graphics and the colors on those. You guys should go check her out because her stuff is really clear. Um, sometimes you can get digital prints that aren't very clear and, you know, so her stuff is, is it's really good quality. There's some more tracing paper, craft paper. There's the other. There's another envelope with um, some journaling spots in there. There's a tag and a journaling spot. Whoops, sorry, didn't mean to bump the camera. Some more of that old book page. There's another one of those paper clips that I decorated with a tag underneath. And I just put a tag on the other side as well. There's some ledger paper, another pocket, and this one folds out as well for extra journaling with a couple of little tags in there. And as you can see, there's lots of lace on all the edges of the pages. Not all the pages, but here's another one of those little flip outs. And this is just another little pocket from Tsunami Rose. Well, if I can get that back in there. And then there's um, just another little journaling card. I think that's, uh, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of that paper pad, but tells of you and me. There's another piece of that Grasshopper book paper. Some more coffee stain paper. And then this is just a little um, extra little journal book that I made that goes in the belly band for extra journaling. And that is the end. And on the on the back I put a little pocket that is expandable for the recipient to put little special memorabilia or keepsakes into and that is the end of that one let me see what we're looking like on our time we'll just go on and go right on into this one this one has the same kind of closure as the other one and on this one I wanted it to be a little more simple on the front so um, I just put some eyelash trim and a little um, safety pin. Most of my covers you'll see a safety pin on at somewhere just because I like doing that. And then one of those little doilies. This is a really thick doily. I really um, enjoyed working with that. And then I just put um, some accenting paper on the spine. This was an old Reader's Digest book and I loved the front of it for the Victorian style so I just went ahead and kept it. And then on the back is plain as well. Okay, this one has a hundred pages in it. It's got the library card on the inside with a couple of tags. Um, I think that's a Project Life one. And I think this one's from the Tales of You and Me. Well, uh, it's got some cheesecloth in there. Um, it also has the lace edges um, on some, a lot of the papers throughout. It has a lot of stamping. This is one of those Crafty Irina pockets. This is um, from that same digital kit from that lady. There's some of my scrappy tags. And that is, I believe, Tsunami Rose. There's a little tuck. I don't know if I have something that I can use to show you. Yeah, there's a little tuck there. Graph paper. There's from that Language of Flower books. Language of Flowers. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Look at the little cherubs. Aren't they sweet? Stamping. There's another little tuck. In that paper, gorgeous. This is the Kirby Teasdale paper, too. I did a couple of books with that because I love it. There's one of those tags from Tales of You and Me. And this actually flips open for lots of room to journal kind of in a little hidden spot so i thought that was neat to make a pocket out of it i've seen other ladies do it um, by no means did i create that but there's one of my little decorated paper clips and it's just got a tag underneath here's some coffee stained tracing paper and it's got the doily pattern on it i don't know if you can see it it's got some stamping ledger paper this pocket just has some tags and journaling spots. There's some more from that Helen Stoner Rice book. There's a, one of those flip up pockets. A little journaling spot from Tsunami Rose. This is Tsunami Rose as well. 
It's just a little journaling spot too. And then this is um, one of those little tags. And I'm not sure if that's Tsunami Rose or the other lady. I kind of got them mixed up in here. Um, there's another one of those little page tabs. There's one of my embossed tags under a doily and IC card. Here's another one of those little books that I make for the Billy Bands, which is some extra journaling area, and I stitched that one together. This is a little tuck spot. There's a little tuck spot with a tag. Another flip out with a couple of tags. I see card and a guest check. A couple more little tags in a pocket. This is from the Grasshopper book. And whoever gets this be really easy with it because these pages are really fragile. But they're so cute. Did I make this? Yep, this is a little tuck spot. Along with this, this is a tuck. There's some more from that um, flower book. Another um, pocket with a couple of tags. That's one of my scrappy tags. And then this is Tsunami Rose with um, a little journaling card inside from Tsunami Rose as well. Tuck spot. And it kind of tucks in from this side, so it'd have to be something really small. There's another one of those paper clips with some glossy accents and a tag. This is from the little grasshopper book. Isn't he cute? Here's one of those little pockets with, um, I believe this is Tsunami Rose. And just a Tales of You and Me tag. Another pocket with some journaling and a couple of tags. And, and then my scrappy tags. Hope I'm staying in frame. There's a tuck spot. There's another page tab. Here's another one of those flip-up pockets. And um, just a little ticket from Tsunami Rose. This is a journaling spot, and that's a tag. There's one of those sewn envelopes out of a book page that you can put something special in. Just got it tucked up underneath that tuck spot. Here is another one of those little extra little journals. And this one I just stapled. Underneath the belly band. Here's another belly band that you can put something underneath. I tried not to, it was starting to get really stuffed, so I didn't want to stuff too much in here. There's another one of my scrappy tags in an extra journaling spot. Some more of that Helen Steiner Rice book. And I just put some little ephemera and a couple of tags in that bag. That's your paper. Here's some more of the coffee stains tracing paper with the doily in print. Here's another page tab. Some more from that flower book. And then this, I believe, is Tsunami Rose. Um, something Bloom, I believe, is the name of this kit. Life of Bloom, I think. Guest check, and then some extra journaling paper. There's another one of those little sewn envelopes. And then this is a tuck as well. I love the coffee staining on this. And that is the end. So these will be going up into my Etsy shop at some point today. I've kind of got a busy day, so hopefully they'll go up after lunchtime at some point in time. Um, but if you guys are interested, go check them out. If you liked my video, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe while you're here. Share it. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.